Welcome to the API Connect developer portal end-to-end -end demo of the app developer experience. I'm going to be showing off a site built with API Connect version 10.0.2, which came out uh, in April 2021. The developer portal is really an extension of a brand, and APIs are an extension of a product. API Connect makes it very easy to customize the developer portal to fit your brand that will easily, um, easily be customized for your consumers to navigate. So I'm not signed in yet, but you can see here uh, on the homepage that we have a site that was customized using Drupal 8. Um, we'll have a quick look around on the home page. There's a getting started button at the top, and then as we scroll down here, you'll see um, that there are a bunch of graphics and a place where you can click into each of the products. Um, and, and at the bottom, there's a Twitter feed. Um, and you'll see um, that there are blogs, forums, and support, and even a privacy policy at the bottom um, with everything else. So now let's sign in as a new user. Um, but before I sign in, let me show you the create a new account flow. Um, you'll see um, that it, uh, again, has everything that you need to see here um, to customize the, the needs of your organization that's creating this. Um, so here you'll see that there's two options and there's a way to sign in using a corporate LDAP um, or an OIDC um, flow as well. For the corporate LDAP, you'll see that we added a lot of customized fields, including a uh, postal address one. And you'll see um, that we've customized even the password criteria as well. Um, then there's the terms and uh, terms of use at the bottom, which you can kind of customize and make fit um, your needs. Um, and then we also have the Google OIDC option here too, um, which is less customized, faster for, for uh, users to get started. But um, all of these our options are fully customizable to meet the needs of your organization. So I'm going to sign in now. Um, I have an account already for a consumer for our consumer persona named Andre. Um, you can um, enter the username and password here. Um, in this case, uh, I used OIDC, uh, and the token's already saved from the last time I signed in earlier. Um, so it just logs back in with just one click. Here we are. Now that I'm logged in, um, I can go through the process of creating an organization um, or go over to create an app and see my apps um, listed out here. Um, I can create a new app really easily uh, as well. Um, in, this, in this case, I'll call it my second app. Um, and um, I can add uh, OAuth redirect items as an other, other, other items as well. And we have this department code required field. Um, and this is another place where we've customized the flow specifically um, to require this code to create an app. Um, and we require specific syntax for this as well um, for how it needs to be entered. So you can't just put random numbers in. Um, it'll, it'll kind of throw it back at you. Um, and again, all of this is very customizable, and you'll see um, that the app here, uh, when it's created with the right department code, it's created successfully. Um, and here you get your app credentials. Um, so now that I have an app, uh, we can kind of navigate over um, to the app dashboard. You can copy these, save them for later. I'll go over to the app dashboard um, where I can see my analytics data in one spot and my subscriptions, and I don't have, there aren't any in there yet, um, but when you do, they'll be here. Um, and uh, the analytics data for your API usage. Um, so now that we've seen that, we can go on a journey through the rest of the developer portal. Um, so let's go to the main page here, and you can kind of see that you can explore more products, and there's more that can be listed out. Um, in this case, I'll go to this customer banking product. And in here, uh, what's really unique about API Connect is that we allow many different forms of APIs to live uh, next to each other. You'll see there's REST APIs, GraphQL APIs, and even async APIs for, with Kafka. Uh, all in the same area. So you can learn about them, um, share them, and test them all in one spot. So I'll go to this REST API Find ATM. Um, you can subscribe to it. Uh, you can go through the process to test it out um, Take a quick uh, with a quick get. Um, we'll go back and check out the GraphQL API um, and do the exact same thing. But what you'll notice here is that um, when you're trying out a GraphQL API, it's not the REST query, but specific GraphQL interface. Um, for the GraphQL API, and I can kind of go back here, learn more about it, the process, and I can go back and kind of click into one of these Kafka APIs as well, and you'll see um, it's different again um, to be able to learn and explore about how to use these um, and how these ones work as well. Um, so having uh, APIs of different types right next to each other is really critical um, for developers who are building applications with all these different uh, types of technology. The other, uh, the other thing that's really nice and cool here um, is that uh, if I go into a different set of APIs, um, you'll see here that we can have unenforced APIs as well. Um, so here we have this, uh, this Stripe API, 
um, right from Stripe. Um, so you can see that it can be from other, other API platforms or on different API gateways like AWS, for example. Um, and you can put all these APIs in one place regardless of whether they're enforced on the IBM Data Power Gateway or not. Um, so this is really critical for developers to have all of their APIs from different parts of the lifecycle in one spot under one product um, that they can explore, try, etc. Um, kind of have that one API key to go through and do all of this in one place. Um, and uh, there's also um, forums where you can kind of go and uh, explore the, the latest and greatest. Um, if you have an issue, there's also support where you can go in here. Um, and we have all the social links together and blogs so you can see what's coming up. Um, and I can uh, manage my organization and add users um, like other developers from my team, kind of bring them in here so they can see everything and use the API keys to explore APIs as well. Um, and of course, we have all the API usage data here um, as well for this work. Um, and we also have billing that you can set up as well. So let me talk about billing for a little bit. Uh, monetizing APIs is critical for different industries. Um, and if we go to one of these example APIs, we'll see that there are different plans. Um, a default one that's free and has some limits um, we can dig into here. We also have this premium plan too, uh, which is $10 per month um, with a 10-day trial um, added to it. Uh, the premium limits are higher than the default ones, um, so for the best customers, they can get what they're paying for. Uh, but you can click in each of these APIs under the product and understand the rate limits and how each one works and subscribes uh, to each plan. Um, before kind of making your decision to subscribe, subscribe and pay or not. Um, so going back real quick uh, to the org dashboard, from one spot we can work with our billing details like I was just showing you, the analytics data, um, and manage members and everything as well. Um, so you can see how flexible the developer portal um, is uh, to customize it in any way that meets your business's purposes. Uh, and that was just a quick end-to-end uh, -end demo running through some of the features that we provide in this. Um, thanks for tuning in, um, and please check out the rest of our API Connect videos on this channel.